All right, welcome back. Thought today we'd do a little um, sunset beach scene. Um, let's run down the colors of what we're going to be using here today. Uh, we're going to start. We've got a cadmium yellow, uh, an Indian yellow, crimson, orange. Uh, for this, I'm going to use orange out of a tube because I, li I like the consistency. Um, it's very rare, we're just going to see a little bit of black right here. I don't use it often, but just a little bit. We're going to use that later. And the titanium white. I want to talk real quick. When I said we're using cad yellow and cadmium orange, we're actually using um, a cadmium hue of each. And there's a difference because true cadmium uh, paint contains the heavy metal cad cadmium. Um, you know, it started being used back in the early 1800s uh, because it, it makes paint pop. Um, it brings a longer lasting life to the color. You know, uh, Van Gogh was famous for using it. Um, that's why, you know, to this day, Starry Night, the yellows in it still hold because, you know, he started using the cadmium yellows when they first came out and they started manufacturing them. But they found over time they thought that it was linked to cancer, um, a cancer causing element. So they started, you know, back in the early 2000s, they started developing hues which means it's you know, a synthetic of the color. Um, it doesn't contain cadmium, um, even though the cadmium that was being used, you, know, you have to inhale it. Uh, it's kind of like a asbestos. If you touch it, it doesn't bother you, but if you get it in your lungs, then, then it's a problem. But they developed cat the hues. Um, they're not quite as rich in color. You know, the, the layman, you know, to me, it's not a huge difference. Um, but the, where the huge difference is, is in the cost. Because if you look at, this is, this is a 37 milliliter tube. All right, it's a little guy. Um, for a cadmium paint, or actually, yeah, for cadmium paint in this, you're looking somewhere around $24 for 37 milliliters. And then for my fellow Americans like myself that have a problem with the metric system, that's that's 1.25 ounces. You're looking at somewhere around $25 for that little tube in cadmium. Um, when you use, buy it in a hue. Uh, you're looking at about just over seven dollars. So you know you're talking three, you know three, three and a half times the price. Um, you know I'm not selling my artwork for thousands and thousands of dollars. So we'll st for myself, I'm going to stick with the uh, less expensive at this time. All right, here we go. Uh, I took the uh, the time to put the the liquid base on that we had talked about last time. If you look, do the tap test right there perfect amount covered the canvas in that so we have our wet base to start with so like I said we're gonna do a, a little sunset scene here we use the age-old finger painting method I learned this from watching that guy on TV with the big hair and sometimes a brush isn't always the best tool so we're gonna start we're gonna put our Sun somewhere in the center up in the sky and we're gonna start with a nice little yellow circle And that's going to work. So we start with our sun. Then what we're going to do is we're going to blend that out. I'm, th I'm using a mop brush here. Like I said, you know, I buy paint brushes and use them for everything that they're not meant to be used for. But I find this to be an excellent blending tool. It's called a mop brush. It's just for, you know, throwing paint on a, on a canvas. I use it for blending because if you just gently go in that circle and work your way out, take the edges off of that that's going to be the center of our Sun now so we also have Indian yellow once again we go with the tried and true method I'm just going to come around the outside of it a little circle on the outside it's going to look like your kindergartner brought it home to you at first but I promise it won't end like that Take the same mop brush and we're going to start blending these edges out. When the green yellow goes on, it's got a, an orangish tint to it, but as you start blending it, you see it starts to turn yellowish. Slowly blend that out. That is a very strong color. 
any color when you blend it enough softens it take it in a little bit you see we're already starting to get that corona effect around our sun in the middle I'm going to put a little bit more of the cad yellow right in the middle there brighten that up a little bit more and I'm going to blend it out circles starting the center and work out blend it right into that Indian yellow blend it till you're happy with it All right, now we want to make the center of that sun bright like it's glowing. And in order to do that, we're going to go right back into the center of that sun. With some titanium white right in the center. brush and we're going to blend that out starting in the center tight circles gentle circles it disappears almost right away and that's all right you still see it's right there just add a little bit more that's all I didn't think you were going to see finger painting, did you? Alright. Just give a little bit of a glow to the center of that sun. Alright, so now we got a glowing sun in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to show you another one of my little tools here. This is another brush, you know, it's, I just call it a scrub brush. It's a generic brush that, you know, it, it's a cheap brush. All I'm trying to do is get some color on the canvas with it. I'm not trying for any effects with it yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here, add orange. I'm going to leave a little bit of space here in between the yellow and the orange. I want to call, I'm going to leave that space for blending. Once again, we're going to start looking here, kind of like a you know, kindergartner brought this home to you. There we go. It's a little bit of blending space. And you're going to see why we did that in a minute. I'm going to come in here with a clean one inch brush and blending that start working the paint once again because we put down that that white liquid base we can move this and blend it start taking it in towards the sun to add as you go but you do want to be careful of not getting too much on it to begin with once it's on there it's hard to get out and get off just keep blending that into the corona blend it closer Gently 
people end into it. You want to get this to where you can't tell where one color ends and one begins. And right now we can still see that. Come back in here with this mop brush again. It's blending from the inside out. Come over here and get a little bit more of that Indian yellow on there. And then blend over top of that orange. Blending outward. So now you got a glowing sun right in the middle. He picked up a bristle there. Get that guy off there. There we go. Okay. So now I got the base for the sun in there. Now we're going to go and just get some color on the canvas for the rest of the sky. Same method if uh, you watched the, the first video we did with the Pink Mountain when we uh, came in there with the cobalt blue. When we were putting the sky in, you know, we weren't exact. We didn't try to color it in perfectly like a coloring book. We just kind of got color on the canvas, dark spots, lighter spots. We're gonna do the same thing here. Since this is going to be a sunset beach, we're going to need some water in here. And we're going to bring the water line in somewhere, you know, the horizon is going to come somewhere near the middle of the painting, um, just underneath the sun. We want to take the sky down past that. Because we're going to set that sky into the back by adding water underneath the sun. What? I'm going to switch to two inch on this. It's, that's just taking too long. Let me get some quicker coverage on this. There we go. Don't want anybody falling asleep because it's taking too long. Once again, not perfect. going to come somewhere around there. This was a painting that I, I had done back in May. Um, a friend of mine just, you know, kind of asking how long it might take me to do a, uh, a beach sunset for his mom for Mother's Day because she loved the beach, she loved the shore. And I said, ah, you know, maybe it'll take me a week or two because I used, I can use an alkid in the paint to help it cure quicker. We'll do that in another time, maybe. But, um, so I pulled out a, a large canvas, 24 by 30, just start playing with it. And that's when I came up with the idea of doing this, uh, you know, 